Hi, I'm poet and writer Kay Spivey. So for kind of a long time now, I've been meaning to make a video like this. I had a request kind of a long way back, like in the springtime, someone asked me to make a video about how I revise. And I've made a couple of attempts at it. I don't know why I'm having such an issue with this. I feel like I'm having like some serious imposter syndrome or something like, who am I to tell you how to revise? Even though I can tell you the way I revise, you know, like I've done that before. I've gone over my revision process in previous videos, but I've never been able to just like sit down and make a video about how I revise. And I don't really know what was been stopping me this whole time. It just wasn't getting done. I wasn't putting out this video and I'm so sorry to the person who requested it because I've been meaning to for a while. But today I was reading back, I was actually reading back through my journal to look at my resolutions from last year because we're getting to the end of the year here so it's time to make some new resolutions and let's just say I failed a lot of them this year you know it's been kind of not the best year it's been a terrible year it's been an awful year I didn't really do well with those but right above my resolution list was a poem and I was just reading the end of it and I was like damn, that's real good. So I went back and read through it and I was like, why have I been sitting on that? I think I tweeted it even. Why have I been sitting on this poem, poem for over a year now? Like, it's really good. Well, it turned out I haven't been sitting on it for over a year. I had just revised the crap out of it. And it's now the starting poem in fragments. It was so weird. So I thought I'd go ahead and I would show you my revision process basically through this one poem. So one of the main things that I was having a struggle with in making this revision video was that a lot of the poetry I've been writing lately has been very dark to the point where it's like, mom, please don't watch that kind of thing. Not depressing, just dark. A lot of it's been pretty dark. I mean, I could read another poem that's pretty dark that I was trying to use for the video previously. I was gonna use this one and I'll read it for you and just like, bear with me, this isn't the poem that we're gonna be going over, but it's, you know when we talked about shallow waters wading into the kiddie pool? It's scarier now than, than diving off the deep end where I know, oh man, my handwriting is bad. It's scarier now than diving off the deep end where I know the water will catch me. I don't always want to breathe. I don't always want to come up for air. Sometimes just sinking feels so free. The deeper you go, the more the world opens up to you. The light at the surface becomes a memory of stars, something I'm never going to touch. A light that only suits the deep, that only haunts the drowning. I see why people would worry about me if they were reading that kind of thing, but I think I love I love that poem. I love it. I think it's beautiful. I think it's haunting and I don't know. I'm really proud of that poem, but at the same time, it's like my grandma will give me a phone call and ask how I'm doing if she reads that poem. You know, it's that kind of thing. So <laughs> this other poem was the same situation, I think. The original version is a lot darker. It's but I did really well on the rhyme scheme. I don't know, I was doing really well. So let's get into the poem. I'm gonna just go ahead. I'll also show you what the poem looks like in the notebook. It's not gonna show up on camera really well because I'll have to hold it for forever, but I'll take a separate video and overlay it so you can see exactly how bad my handwriting is, but like where I've scratched things, where I've added things. Cause I always think that's fun looking at people's work. And I know you're not gonna be able to read it cause my handwriting's so bad even I can't read it. So who cares, I'm gonna put it up for you. But I'll read you the version as it is in here. And I may stumble around because like I said, my handwriting is terrible. And then I'll read you the revised version and kind of talk about how I definitely tried to lighten some things up. But now looking back, there are a lot of things I almost wish I hadn't changed. So, here we go. This is the notebook version. I'm searching for a little light beneath the edges of the sky, looking for a little color and on something mild to rely. Lately, dark is growing thicker, wilds screaming to be fed. Nightly, I've begun to wonder if all the anger's in my head. I'm tired for the frightened children, trying to see above the crowd, and for those who deal in poison, expecting fruit to grow where, where salt's laid down. I'm clenched by claws of panic, stealing breath like a goblin child, faintly 
<laughs> Faintly grows like distant thunder, hearts that cooled on corporate wine. I'm dazed and vaguely stumble, stumble, searching for the tunnel's white. I'm losing hope like flowers, casting seeds to fruitless winds. If the light exists, it surely must not have the strength to win. There are a few shaky bits that obviously, like, I was like, ugh. And there are places where I've just scratched over it so much that it was a little hard to read. Cool poem, right? Like, I thought it was really neat. I don't know, I could, well, I have the date. I could tell you if you want to look back at what was happening in the world in the U.S. at that time. I wrote that poem on October 20th of last year, so I'd have to look back, but clearly I was having some feelings at that time. Anyway, so the poem is now retitled, it's called Seeking, and it is the absolute first poem in fragments now. It was one of my added in poems because I felt it it fit very well with the themes of the book, and apparently I felt it felt it fit so well with the themes of the book that I made it the front poem. So this now represents the book essentially, even though Fragments is a different poem within the book. Okay, I will read for you what the poem became so that you can hear kind of the difference and where I took changes and where I really... What am I doing with my hands here? Shifted it around so that it was a little more palpable. It wasn't quite so like dark. Here it is from Fragments, Seeking. I'm searching for a little flicker beneath the edges of the map, looking for a sign of color, something that will mend the gap. Lately dark is growing thick, wild, screaming to be fed. Nightly I've begun to wonder if all the madness is in my head. I'm tired for the frightened children, scratch poor desperate to be seen, and for all who deal lives in poison, salting land that was once green. I'm clenched by claws of panic, stealing breath like goblin slaves. Dazed and vaguely groping on for a route on which this body's saved. I'm losing hope like flower blossoms, casting seed to frosted ground. I think if light is where I'm searching, perhaps it isn't willing to be found. Round of applause, no. <laughs> you see where the differences are. A lot of the, the visuals are a lot cleaned up for one thing. There are some lines that I think are just a lot cleaner. For one thing, salted land that was once green makes a lot more sense than, okay, I keep closing things, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm not good at YouTube, that's why. So that's a lot cleaner of a line than expecting fruit to grow where salt's laid down. Also, I clearly worked on the flow, I clearly worked on the rhythm and the, the pacing and everything. And one of the things that I like about the old poem though is that if the light exists, it surely must not have the strength to win. There's a battle in the old poem. It's us against corporate powers is kind of how I see it. I don't know if you might see it slightly differently. Or even like you against everything going on and the overwhelmingness of the world. This one is a little bit more focused. It's a little bit less of an external fight and a little more of an internal battle. I don't know, I really like both of them and I might develop the other one into almost like a companion poem so that I have both sides of it. They're very close but they're still very different. But that's kind of part of my revision process is, I mean, I'll, I'll tell you what happened with this one. Clearly I had a feeling, I wrote it down in the notebook and then I revised over it which I showed my little scratching going on in there. The next step for me is always typing up. So I read it through after I'm done and I go through and make revisions and I let it sit for usually, I try and go at least a week, sometimes more, and then I go and sit down with it again. Usually I just like go back through poems and like, what's gonna get typed up? At that time I make another revision pass and usually I'll be adding in some things and really focusing on things like my word choice and on the rhythm, especially in this one, it really needed that rhyme scheme because it really needed to kind of harken back to some older styles of poetry where rhyme scheme was very, very important. Even though it's not usually my style, I felt like it needed to happen in this poem. Fixing a lot of those things, fixing those awkward lines, and then I type it up. And after I type it up, it's almost like it's a different poem to me. Like the visual of it being typed is different from the visual of my scratchy handwriting. So then I go through and do another revision pass and then I save it. 
And for this particular one, when I was going back through to be like, what goes into fragments? What can I add in that's going to like really round out the collection for the second edition? This one came up as one that I was like, it's got the same kind of feel as a lot of the poems that are already in there, but it also like says more and shows off my, my new skills for being a writer as opposed to two years ago. So for that one then, I went through another revision pass and really focused down into what lines I really liked, what lines needed changing, where the rhyme scheme needed help, those kind of things, so that it could then be a part of the collection. And I think I did a final pass through with it to make sure that it was perfect before I put out the second edition. But that's kind of my basic thing going on. Now when it comes to revision, I feel like this is going to be important to say since this is a revision video, I feel like this is something you're going to have to learn. I don't think starting off as a poet you can just simply start revising your own poetry. I do think it's something you should learn. I took poetry classes, a lot of them. I took poetry in high school and I took poetry in college and one of the main things that you learn is how to critique, which is invaluable and I've made videos about that in the past but how to revise each other's poetry, how to revise poetry in general, like what things you're looking for. And then as you go on, the more and more things that you read, the more you're gonna understand how poetry works. And I do think it's one of those things that if you don't have a background in like specifically how to revise poetry, if you haven't been taught, it is different from novel work. And so I do think it's one of those things that like, if you can take a class, definitely take a class, but if not, someone should help you. Recently I revise a lot of my own poetry, but it doesn't only sit with me. I have other people read it as well. Ooh! Kitties! Goodness! I have other people read my poetry as well to let me know if something needs changing, if it's coming across. But I did a lot of that when I was younger. Poems did not see the light of day before somebody, like 10 other eyes, a whole class of other eyes, had looked at it and told me what's working, what's not working. Because you'll start to get a feel for that. People will start to point out like this is clearly your style. You clearly do this kind of thing and you do it very very well and here's where it's working and here's where it's not. That kind of thing is something you're not going to necessarily pick up on your own. It's one of those things that the more eyes you can get on your poetry, especially when you're first starting off, and the more you can learn about how to revise poetry structure specifically, the better. I know classes aren't the most available to everyone. I know what the person was asking me was probably to be like, here's how you do it. I suck at that kind of thing. Like, as much as I like this, like, AuthorTube Poetry Tube channel to be a lot of like, here's how you can learn from me. I'm not a teacher in that way. Like, I have done a lot of classes. I kind of, I'm one of those learners who like, I know what I'm doing, but I'm not necessarily that good at telling you how to follow my exact path because I kind of like to ad-lib along the way. Like I see things one way and I feel like people who are really good at giving instruction to other people are good at seeing things another way. Like I like to jump from point A to point H, whereas you need all of the steps along the way. And I'm not sure I'm good at conveying that specific information. This was my attempt at it. Like this is me showing you like, this is kind of what I do. But I do think there are people who are good at teaching and I think there aren't enough of them on YouTube and I understand that and I don't know of any classes and I don't think you should pay anyone on the internet. But if you're able to take a poetry class in your high school, if you're able to take a poetry class at your college that isn't going to, you know, bankrupt you or anything, I do think that's a good step editing poetry is something that you're interested in, if revising poetry is something that you want to do for your own work or for other people's work, honestly, however you want to handle that. I don't think you should trust yourself to do it without any kind of a background. If that's the case, if you want other people to be the ones revising your work or to edit your work, then you should find someone who is good at that. And I mean, there's all kinds of great critique circles. There's all kinds of great editors out there that you can do some research and find but yeah it is important <laughs> to kind of this isn't that helpful of a video I'm like go find your help somewhere else get out of here get off my lawn children it is hard for me to kind of articulate 
how you revise your poetry, like what things you're looking for. Cause I suck at those things. Like I understand them cause I took a ton of classes and you know, like meter rhyme. It's really hard for me to go through and be like, this is how you do it. And you know, a lot of teachers out there are gonna be really not good at that either. And one of the best ways you can learn is just doing critiques with other people, having critique partners. It is one of the best ways. But if you're looking for a little more help on like what the elements of poetry are, I always point people towards this book, Field Less Traveled by Stephen Fry. I just thought this was a really good introduction into what poetry is, a good quick teaching material type thing, a very easy to understand language goes over all the different poetic forms if you wanted to go into form poetry, uh, just in a really accessible way. Other than that, I haven't read a lot of good books on poetry, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. I've read a lot of good poetry books, but there aren't a ton of craft books on poetry that I have read and really enjoyed. It's one of those things that you'll start to get an ear for, you'll start to understand and if you have specific questions about how to revise poetry, I think I could answer those in the comments down below. If there's enough comments, maybe I'll try and do like a Q&A on how to revise poetry and I think that might help me structure my thoughts on it a little bit better. But like I said, I'm not good at doing this kind of like teaching style of video. So if this is helpful, I'm so glad. I will definitely answer any specific questions you have about revision down below and do my best and try and find some other resources if I'm not able to point you in a better direction, but my process may not work for everybody and other people's processes might not work for me. And it's been a long time since I've been in school, so kind of talking about things in a school-like format to try and explain to you is just not my forte and I have to be honest with myself that it's not. So hopefully you enjoyed this video anyway <laughs> and uh, like I said, I'll help anyone with any specific questions down below. Let me know what you thought of the poems. All right, that's all. I'll just, yeah, I'm gonna sign off here. Hope you're having a great winter now that is starting to turn cold outside. At least here, we had our cold snap. Now we're just having like a Seattle weather pattern. It's just gray. It's just gray and wet. And it's gonna be that way probably until that May. So happy lamp is on and I will see you guys again soon. Good luck. Bye.